this is Jake from Netronic, and today we're going to look at templates inside of NAV Jobs, and specifically how that looks in the Netronic Visual Jobs Scheduler. So firstly, I'm starting here inside of my VJS, or my Visual Jobs Scheduler, and you can see here at the bottom, I have this job from the Canon Group, which is my customer. I have a template system implementation. So I'm going to use this template to create new jobs, so model jobs, okay? And we can see here that I have it inside the VJS already as my template, so I just wanted to show you what this looks like inside of the VJS before I go back to my jobs and create the template. So now I'm gonna go back in here to my jobs, okay? So here I have my template system implementation, and if we just open that and look at the breakdown of it, you can see that I have a number of job tasks and job planning lines already in here. Okay, so this is a very standard job for me. This is something that happens quite often. I'm going to go ahead and want to uh, copy that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the job. I want to take it from the first line down to the last line. Okay, let's give it a new job number, let's see, 500 for example. And instead of a template, let's call this my new test job, and let's set some other parameters, and let's click OK. So now we've success successfully copied this job, OK? Right? So now when I go ahead and I open up my visual job scheduler, I'm not going to set a filter. Now we can see, okay, here is my original template job, and now a new test job has been created. And if I were to expand down, you can see that they're mirrors of each other. So I've created from a template, I've created another job. And you see that all of the underlying job tasks, so in this case, these underlying phases, they are lined up kind of in a line right here. I did that on purpose because really at first, depending on what the job is, all I'm really concerned about is what is this task and what's the duration of it? And now that I'm inside of the VJS and now I can look at the date ranges I have, right, and see when things should be completed, now what I can do, now what I can do is I can actually drag and drop these job tasks out to different points in the schedule and I can schedule them this way, right? So now I can actually come in here and create the hierarchy, not only the hierarchy, but create the timeline, right, the way I would like to see it. And I can also, you know, break this down even to, to, to further underlying levels on the job, underlying job tasks and job planning lines. And like so, we can work with templates from NAV, pulling them over into the VJS. You can either set all of your parameters, meaning start and end times in NAV already, or you can really only focus on the start and the duration, right? And then you can actually drag and drop and do it much quickly, much more quickly, uh, and, and pretty easily here inside the VJS. So this was a quick look at templates inside NAV Jobs um, and how they look inside the VJS, the Visual Job Scheduler from Netronic. If you have any further information, please visit www.netronic.com where you can find all the things you need to know about the Visual Job Scheduler. Thanks.